what's going on everybody? I'm Stacy and thank you for checking out today's video. Now today I'm talking about all the weapons that we had available to us in the Cold War Alpha. And actually I don't mean all of them. <laughs> uh, I'm lying to you already. Listen, I'm talking about the primaries. I didn't use the secondaries hardly ever at all, so I don't have an opinion on those. But I am going to be ranking the primaries of the Cold War Alpha. And this is... Uh, uh, well, a few things we need to keep in mind as we go through this video. Number one, these are my opinions, which means this is based on my playstyle. Also, keep in mind that this is the alpha, and they've already mentioned that they are going to be fixing, or I guess tuning, some of these weapons right out the gate anyway. So, essentially, some of this information doesn't even matter. Huh, well, that's a cool, that's awesome. Uh, anyways, we're going to make the video because I thought this was a, a really cool idea. I think it'll still give you a really good idea of what to expect going into the beta if you have not played this game yet. So that's what I aim to do. I aim to get a little bit of, give you a little bit of a head start. I think my best video I had um, last year was something very similar to this going into Modern Warfare. So I figured I'd do it again. All right, so... <clears throat> the gameplay in the background, if you're paying attention to it, which I assume you are, is actually the 821, the Type 821 submachine gun, and uh, that's not where we're going to start. I just thought I would point that out in case you were wondering, because I'm sure you were wondering. Anyways. Okay, so let's start with the ARs first. Out of this list, we have three of them that were available to us. The XM4, which people are calling the M4, and that's really annoying. I understand that the M4 is inside of the name, but this is based off of the Commando from Black Ops 1. So call it the Commando, or else I will cry. Uh, we have the XM4, aka the Commando, the Krig, and then the AK-47, the good old trusty AK-47. Uh, I used, I guess I should go with the basis of this video, or how I tested this, essentially. I played one game with every single gun without any attachments, and then I played a game with the gun with the best attachments I saw fit for it. For this, for this, uh, this video in particular, I guess. So, I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of them. I don't know, I could be bullshitting. I really don't know. But anyways, <laughs> well, this video is strange. <laughs> okay, so out of these three weapons, the, the one that I liked the very least was the AK-47. I know that's going to hurt some of your feelings, and I know that's going to make you upset, but it just didn't, it didn't have the same feel and the same power, in my opinion, as uh, AK-47s in the past. Actually, you know what? I do think it felt very similar to the Black Ops 1 AK-47. Um, it doesn't look the same, but I feel like it's, it, it's just, I don't know. Out of these three ARs, I would definitely not pick this one. Um, the next one I would go with would be the Krig. Uh, Krig at number two. I actually enjoyed this gun quite a bit, and I think this is one of the better guns, to be honest. But, it just doesn't compare to the XM4, which is our number one. Um, the XM4 is, it's very much, I'm trying to think. It's one of those guns where no matter what situation you're in, if you have it in your hands, you stand a very good chance. Uh, it holds up at close range. It holds up uh, medium. That's probably where it shines the best. And long range. Uh, if you can control it, it's absolutely phenomenal. So the XM4 is definitely the best one of the ARs. Moving on to the SMGs, there were three uh, with this one. The 74U, which you can probably already guess what place this one's in. The Type 821, which is the video in the background. And then uh, the MP5, the GOAT MP5, bro. So let's go ahead and rank them. Number three, the MP5. So I called it the GOAT, but I'm going to go ahead and dial that back a little bit. It was the GOAT of Modern Warfare. Uh, I'm super excited that they added this because I did really enjoy it in Black Ops 1, which is a game I'll probably compare this one to the most. Um, and it wasn't, but back in Black Ops number 1, it wasn't the best gun, but you could still definitely use it. Um, and I tend to, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's kind of, it's kind of weak. I'll go ahead and say it. Compared to the other ones, it's definitely kind of weak. Um, if I'm going for number two, <laughs> which I am because that's what I'm doing in this video, number two is going to be 
the 74U. And there's one, well, there's, yeah, there's one particular reason why I don't like this one over the 821. Um, and that is because the iron sights. I could not handle it. I can't, I just hate the iron sights on this gun. If you can get used to them, then in, in your situation, you might put this one as your number one. But I cannot stand it. And my SMGs are not going to have a sight on them. Absolutely not. I refuse to do that. Um, other than that, the gun is absolutely phenomenal. Its best trait is that it carries a lot of damage over a big range, which again, I think needs a sight, and I refuse to put a sight on my SMG. Uh, that brings the 821, the Type 821, uh, to the forefront. Number one, SMG number one. This gun is amazing. I absolutely, I can't even explain how much I love this gun. It's, it's kind of like... I want to say it's like the Uzi with the um, the special rounds from Modern Warfare where it's just a fucking tank and it can shoot really well at a distance. It carries power. It's got, it just, it handles itself. It's just goat. And the iron sights are great. So that's why it's number one. <laughs> okay, the tactical rifles. This is where it gets a little funky. Um, again, I did use these without attachments and then I put attachments on them. We have the M16 and the Type 63. In my opinion, the last one, number two, is going to be the M16. I just, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something with this gun, but it was absolute trash. I could not get a one burst to save my life, which is okay. Two bursts were very, very rare. Um, I, it, it Honestly, you know, thinking back about it, it could just be my aim overall because I was using a controller I was not comfortable with. So it could be that. Maybe it'll change going into the beta. But uh, as of right now, I'm definitely putting that... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the Type 63 is going to take the number one spot by default. This gun I didn't have the greatest success with, but uh, it handled really well. And of course, you know, uh, single shot, single whatever you want to call these kind of guns, single fire. Yeah, there you go. Aren't my cup of tea anyway, so I don't know. But I have seen people shred with it, and I can see the um, possibilities there. We'll put it that way. And it was definitely better than the M16, so it had to be number one by default. LMGs, these ones were fun. We have the Stoner. Uh, we've seen this before in other Call of Duties. And the RPD, of course, we've seen several times in Call of Duty. Um, for number two, the second place, the last place in the LMGs, we're going to go with the RPD. And this is actually kind of strange. Not strange, but it's it's in last place, but it's a really good gun. It's kind of like the SMGs. All that SMGs were really good. You could handle yourself with the RPD. It's really not that bad at all. Um, I think the the reason why it's number two is because number one, the stoner, in my opinion, is absolutely phenomenal. This gun is insane. I would take this gun over almost... No, nope, I will take this gun over anything in the beta. This uh, is just phenomenal. It has so much damage. It, it handles so damn well. The range on this thing is insane. It's just... it's. It was definitely my favorite gun. At least the one I saw the most success with. I actually don't know if that's true or not. Maybe it is. I don't know. I've got other videos. We'll check those out at a later point. But, yeah, Stoner's number one. Moving on to the sniper rifles, we have the Tundra and the Pellington. These Both of these guns look like um, previous snipers that we've seen. I think the L96A1 from Black Ops 1 and then the M40 from COD 4, oddly enough. Um, Tundra, Pellington, respectively. I didn't see, like, a difference at all between these two. Um, I will say that during my quote-unquote testing, um, or I should say playthrough, I had more success with the Pellington. I really don't know, though. That could just be, I don't know. But they are literally the same gun. So I'm putting the Tundra at number two, even though I think it looks cooler, and the Pellington at number one. And, yeah, that's just it. So if I had to go overall with all these guns, I had to put them in a particular order. My very favorite gun, number one, is the Stoner. Absolutely the Stoner. This thing is insane. Number two is going to be the Type 821 because, I don't know, it's just both of the guns that I've listed are overall amazing. So that actually, the XM4 has to be number three because I said before that was safe at any range. Um, I think by default I have to go 74U for the next, and then probably the MP5, because maybe probably more nostalgia. Um, Krig is a close, 
a close tie with the MP5. The Krig was really nice. I think given if I had more playtime, I would have been able to make some more, maybe better classes with it, but that's pretty close. Um, we're going to go with the RPD next. Again, there was nothing wrong with this gun. It's just I favor the other ones more. Uh, the AK-47 absolutely sucks in my opinion. I'm very sorry if you're an AK-47 fan. I know they have a die-hard fan base. Um, again, it just may not be... It may not just be for me. Again, this is my opinions off of the Alpha and my playstyle, so I don't know. Uh, the last two are the tactical rifles. Man, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything with the 60, Type 63, and the M16 is the worst gun possible. As far as the snipers go, I really don't know how to rank them. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, there's been very few games where I've sniped a lot. So I'm, I'm not even going to put them into the rank. Uh, if you are a sniper, you're going to fucking love them. If you don't snipe, well, then they're at the bottom of your list anyway. So, I again, I don't know where to put them. They felt great, but I don't know where they go. I don't know where they belong in this list. That's my opinion on all the guns. Again, please keep in mind that this is my opinion and based off of my play style. If you have any questions about the guns, please let me know in the comments below or reach out to me on uh, Twitter. Socials are in the description. Um, I'm, you know, I'll answer any questions that you got. With all that being said, guys, if you want to three through, if you want to, what the shit? If you want to throw a like on the video, that would be great, bro. Wow, I recovered from that well. Anyways, comment down below uh, if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I will check you guys in the next one.